For the next month, I'll be running a jewel giveaway on the channel, one over on Gleam for a Mega Powers box, which is at the top of the video description. The second one being on YouTube for five sealed Guardians Rising booster packs. All you need to enter the one on YouTube is to like the video you're watching right now, leave a comment in the comment section uh, saying what you liked about today's video, and the third thing being make sure you're subscribed. The entries end on July 1st at midnight, so get in while you still can. What's cracking YouTube? My name's Brody and welcome to another Pokemon trading card game opening. And today we are back with Season 4, Week 2 of the MLPB. So if you guys missed out on Season 1 where I versed the Brisbane Bell Sprouts and Booster Kings, be, be sure to go check that one out. I'll leave a link in the video description. Uh, but yeah, we're here with Week 2 and we are facing off against uh, the Hollow Hunter and the Holland Haunters. So as of right now, the Hollow Hunter is actually the leading point scorer in the MLPB with a massive 10 points from week one. Uh, spoiler alert, he pulled a Drampa Secret Rare, the Hyper Rare Drampa from Guardians Rising in week one. So that's quite a wild. So yeah, if you guys missed out on the Hollow Hunters first week battle, be sure to go check that one out. That was pretty, pretty epic. But um, we also won week one as well. So we're, um, we're in ties here. So it's a bit of a, um, a bit of a face-off between like two of the higher point scorers in the MLPB in the Bulu division anyway uh, But yeah, so th for those guys who are new to the MLPB I've got um, all the important information about uh, what cards will get you what points in the video description Usually I display them on screen for you guys, but um, you guys can just check out the video description has all the points and um, Yeah, how you can get the points from certain cards in the MLPB, but for example, we have the competitive pick um System, so I'm playing away today. I'm actually playing over at the uh, Hollow Hunters domain today. Um, but yeah, so my competitive pick, I only get one today because I'm the away team. If you're the home team, you get two. So I have this Araquan, it's um, just a co uncommon. So if I get that one, let's have a look see over here. If I get that one, I will get two points. I get a bonus two points if I pull a Araquanid. If it's a reverse holo Araquanid, it's still only two points. So um, anyway, that's all the nitty gritties out of the way. So I'll just leave that kind of off in the in the corner there so you guys can see. That is our competitive pick. What, what number is it actually? It is number 46 out of 149. Araquanid. Alrighty, so let's get into this blister. See, week two is all sun and moon. So if you guys see any MLPB pack battles, um, Released over well, I think a lot of them should be released by now But there should be another battle uh, like another wave of battles coming out at um, in about three hours time from now So yeah, be sure to check out the MLPB schedule which should be um, linked I'll, I'll be sure to leave a link in the video description as well but, um, Let's get all of this stuff out. So we just got a classic classic Pikachu coin nothing all too fancy That's one of the more common coins that you can get here is the code for the Litten on TCGO. It's nothing all too, too fancy there. And then this is our Litten promo here. It's got 60 HP with Collect and Scratch. So that can just chill over there as well. Alrighty, so the promo is worth nothing. That's just kind of there. We open up the blisters to prove legitimacy and to prove that everything's all like, all good. And there's no, no, uh, no weighing or any tampering going on here. So it's all legit. So we got the Primarina, Solgaleo, and Lunala pack art here. So I'm just going to go in that order. Why not? Why not? So if you guys are keen for yet another week of the MLPB on the channel, be sure to drop a like down below. And don't forget to check out the Hollow Hunters side of the battle by uh, clicking the link at the top. I'll be sure to leave it at the top of the video description for you guys and see who won this battle. Be sure to let us know in the comment section below who won purely based on points. It is all based on points here in the MLPB. So let's go. Let's see what we can do. Let's get some power. We got Aether Mantis, Morlul, Skarmory, Poliwag, Sandy Gast, Metal Energy, Puku Muku, Great Ball, Dartrix, oh no Araquanid. So we got a Metapod Reverse Holo, which is not a rare, and just a Stoutland regular rare. So that's a dud pack where zero rocking the zero pointer today. So let's go into our next pack here and hopefully, hopefully we don't skunk this opening today, you guys. Hopefully we don't skunk it. So let's go four and two. Alrighty, let's go. I'm fit. My fingers are tingling, you guys. My fingers are tingling. So let's go. We've got a picky pack, Sandile, Snubble, 
Fiero, Grubbin, a Fairy Energy, Dragonair, Poison Barb, Toracat, a Reverse Rare Crocodile, which is actually a hole in the set as well. So that is one point on the board. And a Team Skull Grunt Full Art. Alrighty, that is what I'm talking about, you guys. So I believe that one is four points, but let me just double check right here. So holo, Full Arts are, in fact, four points. So I will take it, you guys. That is a five-point pack right there. So let's have a nice look here at this Team Skull Grunt Full Art. My fingers were tingling, you guys. Nice looking card. This was actually one of the well, was it? I think it was the first full art I pulled from Sun and Moon, which was at my pre-release. So that's kind of kind of wild. So it says your op your opponent reveals their hand, discard two energy cards from it. So yeah, awesome. Five points right there. No Araquanid though. No Araquanid. My competitive. I've always been bad. Like ever since season two, I was always really bad at picking the competitive pick. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I just, I just never, I just couldn't do it. Could not do it. But here, let's go into our final pack now, and see if let's see if we can get an Iraq winning. That that is my goal. I just want to hit the competitive pick. So we got a Zubat, Young Goose, Shelter, Paris, Caterpie, Water Energy, a Crushing Hammer, Charger Bug, and a Dragonair. No, <laughs> for Mantis Reverse Hollow. And to finish things off today, we've got ah uh, just an Incineroar regular rare. So we are, we're just rocking that one that one pack came through with the goods for us today. So we're only rocking the five points. The Araquanid could not come through in the competitive pick side of things. Um, let's just have it. We'll have a quick recap for you guys. I'll, I'll recap everything. So we got the um classic Pikachu coin. Nothing all too fancy there. Just a classic coin. And then we've got the Crocodile Reverse Ray, that's one. And we got the Team Skull Grunt Full Art, which is another four. So that makes five for our uh, score total for this week. So that's that's a pretty reasonable um, benchmark to set. So good luck to the Hollow Hunter. You're gonna, I've set the benchmark pretty pretty reasonably high, but um, let's see see what you can do. But there's our, our Litten as well, which is just a just a freebie. Nothing all too important there. Alrighty, so if you guys did enjoy week two of the MLPB on the channel, be sure to drop a like down below. Make sure you go head over to the Hollow Hunters uh, channel and uh, see who won this battle. Let, uh, and drop the hashtag Amity Empire, Amity Empire over there. Sorry, guys. Um, and yeah, I'd love to see how many people do that in the comment section of um, the Hollow Hunters video. Uh, but yeah, with that said, once again, be sure to drop a like down below if you guys did enjoy um, subscribe if you're new to the channel and be sure to hit the bell next to the subscribe button if you'd like to be notified whenever I upload. But with that said, I'm going to get up out of here. Thanks for watching today's opening and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Peace.